Hey guys, welcome to part two of playing through Persona 3 Reload. I'm really enjoying it so far. The story definitely has some interesting concepts, and the combat, we've only got a little taste of it so far, but it looks really nice, really delivering on that style that the Persona series is known for, and definitely looking forward to playing more. So let's go ahead and continue playing. So first of all, we have to rest. Okay, there it goes. Long time no see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? For a moment I was like, I mean it's been like one day, but I forgot we were in the hospital for like two weeks almost. Anyways, I got something to tell you. Let's say... You know, we'll ask what happened. Get a load of it. Actually... Oh wait, I'm not supposed to spill. Sorry man, forget you heard anything. <laughs> Someone's full of energy today. I can hear you from all the way over there. Huh? huh? You two didn't come to school together even though you're in the same dorm? Are you stupid or something? I've heard enough about that. Anyway, Yuki-kun, are you feeling any better? Okay, I feel- I'm kind of starting to think, did Takeba, Takeba, like, take us out to help dispel the rumors for a bit? Sorry to hit you with this stone suit after you've recovered. But the chairman wants to talk to you today. Head to the dorm after school and come up to the first floor. Don't forget, okay? What? Hold up. Why are you being called out by the chair, man? What the heck did you do? It's not like that. It's nothing serious. Come on, we're gonna be late if we just stand around here talking. I mean, but that's what a lot of the game consists of. And we call it a day. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. Well, that wraps it up for the Stone Age. I'm tired of these lessons about fossils. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Jap Japanese history is not exciting enough until then. But it's what I'm paid to do, so here we are. It's not easy being an adult. I mean, I feel like I can't take him seriously wearing that samurai helmet. Next is the Jomon period? When did the samurai get their day in the sun? So? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm. Yuki-kun. The places where people dump their waste in the Jomon period. Where are they called nowadays? I... Man, normally, like, when I played Persona 3 Golden, I used a guide, because I didn't, didn't want to miss anything. Persona 3 Reload, I want to go into a blind. I'm going to make some mistakes. I'm not going to optimize everything, but that's fine. But I also don't know the answers to the questions already. So, I feel like Boneyards would be... would make the most sense. Well, people dump the oh dump their waste, not necessarily bodies. I feel like hovels might be make might be more appropriate. I guess we'll give that a shot. Cold looks so glum. It's no use teaching you guys if you're going to get the simplest questions wrong. Okay, I messed up. The correct answer is midden. If the word is Scandinavian origin. It means dunghill. Okay, that. Okay. I feel like his simplest questions criteria is pretty strict. Well, I suppose that isn't important here, ultimately. Uh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Oh, I get it. Pretty good pun. I answered incorrectly. I mean, if it was Boneyards, I'd be a, a bit disappointed, but it being Middens, I'm like, yeah, there's no um, way I was going to know that. Hey, want to walk home together? say I mean it might start rumors seems like it's just gonna cause a problem let's go ahead and say sure we live in the same dorm and all and I've been a little worried what if you pass out again on the way home I feel responsible for that you know let me make it up to you come on let's go I feel like she didn't really do anything wrong other than not let us know that Honestly. all of this was happening all the shadow stuff. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. Okay, I'm actually glad she reminded us because I kind of totally forgot about that. 
it looks like there's something under my pillow. If it's a tooth and not mine, I'm gonna be very concerned. What's that thing shining on my bed? Twilight Fragment. I haven't seen anything like this before. I should hold on to it for now. Okay, before we continue, let me go to settings and just make it so that when we set it to auto, it remembers that. So I don't have to keep manually doing that. Maintain auto text. There we go. Okay. That way, when I set it to auto so it automatically goes once the audio finish, finishes reading the line, I don't have to keep hitting auto again after it goes to the next scene. Oh. There you are. Hey. Come on, they're waiting for you inside. Ah, there you are. Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Hey there. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you He's believe like, me? That's it. That's all you need to know about him. Of more Moving than on. 24 hours. I'll say excuse me, because that, you know, it's a bit startling. That's a reasonable reaction. Okay, However, I feel more you've vindicated. Already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. Okay, I feel like so the coffins is maybe the most noticeable like one. Stepped into a different time. That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Let's say... Okay, I think the part that's between days is a bit more, you know, notable. Let's go ahead and focus on that. It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw them, those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Lucky Hiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. No, he no. seems to enjoy it a lot too much. Well in any case. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's, for short. Okay, yeah, because I wasn't going to remember that full name. as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the Shadows. Mitsuru Kirijokun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Yeah, I'm more curious about how we fight them. I mean, we have our persona, but... Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as persona. The power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I mean, I don't fully understand, but I'm, I'm kind of understanding what they're specifically saying, at least. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. <laughs> he seems very quick to be like, all right. I... I mean, realistically, it's like, yeah, I'm not sure I'm ready to fight shadows, these things I didn't know existed until, like, yesterday, basically. I mean, I was unconscious for, like, two weeks. But, you know, let's, let's keep things moving and say, all right. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. I'm glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. 
about your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Was I supposed to be in a different room? Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Is this so they keep me in the room that has the camera monitoring me? I joined C's to fight the shadows. I can hear a voice ringing inside my head. What the? I can hear a voice ringing inside my head. Oh, nice! Start our very first social link. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Oh, okay. I, I thought I had to continue, but I guess it's actually going to keep going. Thou shalt help. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Fool Arcana. Okay, I guess it's that animation triggering that caused the my the game to crash. Okay, got rank one. I feel my inner strength growing. I recall what Igor said about the power of social links. Well, that's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. Certain terms that have been displayed before in messages, along with their descriptions, can be viewed by opening the menu with Y, going to System, and selecting Dictionary. But I guess, similar to Persona for Golden, the Fool Arcana is the group that we're part of, and so, in this game, it's C's. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? You know, because it's the weekend, shall we end? Shall we end? Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get, get used to his bad puns, like... Takabe said. Hi, how have you been? That's not <laughs> unsettling. Let's ask who he is. We've met before. Yeah, you're Soon, the concierge. The end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. I mean, saying I don't care when there's a child in your room telling you about the end of the world at past midnight, I guess I can't say, like, 1am, but let's go ahead and learn more about the end. It's the end of everything, but to be honest, I don't really know much about it. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power, and what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay, then. All right, I guess I'm See not going to get any sleep tonight. Looks like I slept till nighttime. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. Okay, he's here. So what's this about? Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a sec. Oh, huh. Junpei? He's moving in Why with us? Why are you here? Don't tell me. If you wanna go ahead. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. I'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. Huh. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I, I don't see. remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. 
But he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. You guys know that? Yeah, I mean, definitely had a different reaction. Let's go ahead and say, well, I don't want to hurt his social link. But I don't think it started yet. I think we're fine. Let's go ahead and say, no. What? Have you not talked to anyone about it? Well, you should know, since you're a Persona user and all. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Wouldn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? Uh, I guess. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we could start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? It's a place that holds the key to understanding the Dark Hour. Or so we think. And the key. <sighs> the chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. Okay. I feel like we're getting through the calendar pretty quickly, but at the same time, I've been playing it one day at a time in Persona for Golden, so I think that makes sense. Yo, you ready to kick some butt? I'm so glad I was invited to join. Plus, the dorm's pretty cozy. The best part is that we're the only ones who can fight these shad er, enemies. We'll go and s I mean, it seems true. He does seem pretty gung ho about it. Especially for someone whose only experience with them was crying. Well, duh. Who wouldn't be stoked about fighting for justice? Though, to be perfectly honest, I ain't got a single clue what we're supposed to be doing. I'm sure we'll find out. They did say that they'll explain everything. Yeah, I feel like his attitude might change once he feels, once he realizes what it, it's like to summon a persona. I was about to fall asleep. Oh, there's cherry blossoms outside. Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Damn. Doesn't waste any time. She's not like us. She's busy, you know? With the student council or whatever. Whoa, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? It's not that I don't like her. It's just... I don't know. Finally over. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. <laughs> Finally made it. Can't believe the accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark out. Hmm. It's happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Okay, I was like, we don't see him in any rush. Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. It's small rocks! So many places to chow down. Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. Yeah, I mean, if we're already late and we show up with Wild Duck, I don't think it's going to help do us any favors with the rest of the group. I'd say we'd better hurry to the dorm. your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number 
has recently jumped to five. Oh, okay. So I was like, the can the other person Starting not tonight use it? At 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Okay. Uh, so, I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? I mean, he's only been able to experience the Dark I mean... Hour for like two days. It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the Dark Hour, after all. Only during the Dark Hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the Dark Hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the Dark Hour itself. I am curious, does uh, the Dark Hour really only it. happen well, in this area? You're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the Dark Hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. That's one hell of a responsibility. But the heroes of justice will prevail. I was like, okay, it's good to hear that he's, you know, motivating about skills. it, but that, place that delivery like is a bit much. Whoa, they're nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. Is his wounds just the bandage <sighs> yeah, on his forehead? I know. Relax! Oh, Junpei's got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. Not much point, anyway, since I can't summon a persona. Seems a bit insecure about it. Huh? We're here? Um, uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight. Oh, okay. I thought it was already the Dark Hour, but yeah, that makes a bit more sense. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. What happens this if we're in the, the tower when it returns about? to normal? But why? Why did our school turn into a giant tower? Yeah, I feel like Yunpei's morale has really dropped as soon as he actually yeah. encant encountered the Dark Hour. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the Dark Hour. I feel like Akihiko, Akihiko is how Yunpei wants your enthusiasm, to be, but you won't be can't quite follow up on it. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. So this is Tartarus. In any case, we decide to enter the tower. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. Looks pretty cool. Oh. It's just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! That's the first thing he thought of that has a leader? You're in charge. Wait! Why him? He doesn't look like a captain! Okay, I feel like Junpei's Calm gonna down. try to make a, make a mutiny already. already. Wait, seriously? That's true too, but the main reason is far more simple. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? I've only done it once, yeah, though. Yeah, of course I can! Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? You know, we'll say I'm ready. <laughs> That's the spirit. The velvet key in my hand is shining. What's the matter? A strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. Let's ask about the door. The door you just passed through is the entrance to this realm. Of course, no one but you can see it. Oh, how obvious. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will I do like that the avatar in the bottom time. left, Once the mouthing again, is synced up with the audio, which it's a pretty straightforward, like, simple process accord. to automate, but definitely a nice step to add. True role. The manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again, farewell. Well, if I'm the only one that can see the blue door, hopefully everyone else didn't just see me disappear and they're like, I'm sure I'll be back in a few minutes. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. I mean, let's try to you know, share as much information as we can about this and say, I opened this door and... Huh? What door? Man, are you loco? They don't seem to see the door. It's almost like Have Igor told us that off? that would be the case. You seem kinda out of it. Yeah, You're not the best start to, be to rallying our team. We'll be following you. Come on, let's go. Leader. The entrance, the entrance to the labyrinth is at the top of the stairs. Whenever, whenever you feel ready to start, lead the way. You can open the menu. You can open the menu by pressing Y. Accessing the menu will allow you to view you and your allies' statuses and personas, as well as use skills and items. 
While exploring Tartarus, you can save at locations where you can change your party. However, you cannot save on the floor you're currently exploring. You can save for the menu or by pressing start. Okay, let's see what this thing is. Check the cloth. What a large cloth. It doesn't seem to be working though. Alright, I guess we gave it our best shot. Let's see what this thing is. What is this? I've never seen something like it before. Regardless, it doesn't seem to be functioning right now. Hmm. Don't worry, I won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. Hey. Remember, Takuba and Junpei have no real battle experience, so make sure you back them up. Hell yeah! Alright, let's do this. I'll prove that I should be in charge. Okay, are we gonna have hmm. a power struggle right off the bat? So this is Tartarus. Okay, let's go ahead and start exploring. Well, let's save first. Let's see, I hit start. There we go. All right, now let's go start exploring. All right. Are you all ready? I'm ready. Good luck. Okay, not, not the first thing you want to see when you explore a new area. So, it's the real deal from here on, huh? Well, it's easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Okay, so she's like, this game's reason. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes. Okay, it really is like Rize. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. Okay. I'm looking forward to playing more of the actual combat of the game, and also to see how it is in the new updated version of ahead. the game. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. Let's start by going over how to attack shadows. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. You can choose whether to use an attack or a skill on your enemies. You can attack with whatever weapon you have currently equipped on you. While it doesn't do the most damage, it will not deplete your HP or SP. Launch an attack by selecting the target and pressing A. On the other hand, using a skill will deplete your HP or SP. To use one, press Y, then select the skill you want to use and the target you want to use it on. Well, let's do a basic attack first. I was thinking we want to see what its weaknesses are, but it could be weak to physical attacks. I definitely don't want to burn through SP and then realize, oh, I could have just done a basic attack the whole time. Oh, huh. Okay. Junpei's persona looks pretty cool. Alright, leveling up already. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Talk about two. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Good. All right. Things Let's are going pretty exploring. smoothly so far. Let's carry on exploring Tartarus. I mean, pretty easy so far. I think we. It's gonna be like 98 more fights, and we're gonna hit level 100. No problem. Another shadow up ahead. 
Let's get you more accustomed to combat. The battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. Oh, okay. We actually got quite a few enemies to fight this time. Next, let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait! Let me handle this one. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this! That's it, Takaba. You give it a try as well. Each skill and attack has an affinity, and enemies will have weaknesses towards certain affinities. Attacking an enemy with its weakness will deal more damage than usual. It'll also knock down the enemy. When an enemy is down, you'll be able to attack one more time. If you use this extra turn to knock down a different enemy, you can attack one more time again. As long as you keep knocking the enemies down, you'll be able to attack continuously. Well, they might be weak to physical attacks. Let's test that. Okay, cool, they are. You struck the enemy's weakness. Keep that up and finish off the rest. All right, I think we can take this guy off. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they were still level one, but now we're all on the same page. Fantastic work, Takaba. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. Does that mean she's gonna give me some enemies control? around? Let's move on. Okay. Just want to make sure there's not anything that we're missing around here. Yeah. I wonder how far we can get without losing contact with Kiri Joe's senpai. Said to say. senpai. I didn't hey, quite catch the that's ending kinda of it. Boxy looking thing. Yes, boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. Sometimes they contain useful items for battle. Seek them out as often as you can. Oh, sweet! So they're basically like treasure chests. Hell yeah! Let's bust it open and see what's inside. Treasure chests in Tartarus contain items, money, and other loot that will make exploration easier. There are many types of treasure chests, each with different contents inside. You especially want to keep an eye out for special items that can only be attained from treasure chests. I feel like it's going to be item, an item that we're probably not going to use. Like it'll be okay, useful. three life stones. It's up to you to decide how to use it. If you get injured while exploring Tartarus, you can use items and skills to restore HP or SP. Open the Y menu, select item, and choose a recovery item, such as medicine or life stone. Then choose a party member. Skills work in a similar way. Start by opening the menu, select skill, and pick a recovery skill, such as Dia. Then choose a party member. It's best to prioritize Mo Makoto's HP so that he doesn't faint while exploring. Okay, good to know. I mean, lifestone. As far as items go, that does seem pretty useful. Yo, is this really the school? But it'd be kind of fun if we were actually inside our classroom right now, huh? What's up here? Okay, it's just stairs. But yeah, lifestone, you know, pretty useful, but I feel like we're, I'm just going to use SP healing skills to recover the party. But definitely good to have in our back pocket. Shadow detected. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. You can swing your sword by pressing X while exploring to slash an enemy. Doing so will start combat. Striking an enemy from behind will trigger a chance encounter, but you have the advantage at the start of combat. If the enemy attacks you first, a pinch encounter will occur, placing you at a disadvantage. Get into the habit of initiating chance encounters to gain the upper hand for an easy victory. 
You can still swing your sword even when there are no enemies present, so you'll be able to practice and test your sword's range. Let's go ahead and try it live. Okay. I will say we did have quite a bit more range, I think, than I expected, so maybe we'll have been useful to test. Okay, cool. Definitely don't want to have to keep all track of all that mentally. Pressing left bumper will allow you to view the affinities of a selected enemy. The different affinities are Slash, Strike, Pierce, Fire, Ice, Electricity, Wind, Light, and Dark. The amount of damage inflicted depends on the enemy's affinity. Unknown. Affinity has not been used against an enemy yet. Weak. More damage dealt and knockdown possible. Resist. Damage is halved. Null. No damage taken. Repel. Damage is deflected and inflicted on the one who initiated it. Drain. Damage is absorbed by the target and heals them instead. Alright, now knock down the other one. That's when you perform an all-out attack. An all-out okay. attack? It's a maneuver that engages the entire team in a coordinated assault when all enemies have been knocked down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Whoa! That sounds so badass! Let's give it a try right now! When you knock down every enemy, you'll get the chance to execute an all-out attack that will deal significant damage to all enemies. Once an all-out attack is possible, there will be a prompt asking whether or not you want to initiate it. Press B to cancel and A to perform an all-out attack. Choose wisely, depending on the situation. If you are inflicted with a stab salient, or if you are the only one mobile at the time, then an all-out attack cannot be executed. If any party member is inflicted with a stab salient at the time of an all-out attack, they will not be able to join in. This will reduce the amount of damage dealt to enemies. Alright, let's give it a shot. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, okay, cool. After a battle is won, shuffle time may occur. During shuffle time, different types of cards formed by the, by the possibilities within your soul will appear. You can choose one of these cards. Each type of card has a different effect. Persona, acquire a new persona. Wand, increases experience. Cup, activates battle support effects. Sword, obtain a skill card. Coin, obtain money. The more one mores you get in a battle, the higher chance shuffle time will occur. You have a, if you end a battle with an all-out attack, shuffle time will always occur. Okay, good to know. So let's go ahead and take the one card that is available, such a tough choice, and get Acquire the Persona Absurus. Oh ha, huh, we got a lot of XP for that battle. Okay, now we can heal, that's good. When I saw my opening, it's like my body just knew what to do. That was magnificent teamwork. It's hard to believe it's your first time. As you grasp the flow of battle, you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. Okay, so it seems like every the combat is very similar to Persona 4 Golden, which is pretty good for me. I'm definitely pretty experienced with that game recently. Whoa, these open on their own? Sheesh, that scared the crap out of me. Alright, got some medicine. Let's see. Okay, on the mini-map I could see there was like a rectangle, but I guess it's just because it's like a little bit of an indent. I detect another shadow up ahead. Take advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. Alright, let me test the range of this real fast. Okay. So he takes a little bit of a step forward, but nothing too crazy. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, dang it. Oh, okay, cool. That works. Definitely he could have done it a little more smoother. A little more smoothly, but I'll take it. I'll continue providing support, but this time, go ahead and try fighting on your own. You, my boy are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. Okay, I can feel a new potential within myself. If you have multiple personas in your possession, you can use chain persona to swap out your equipped persona with another in your stock. 
changing personas will also change your stats, affinities, and usable skills based on the persona you switch to. During battle, open the Persona sub menu to view skills, then press left bumper or right bumper to change personas. You can also change your equipped persona outside of battle by pressing Y to open the menu, then navigating to the Persona sub menu. You can change personas at any time, but in battle, you can only do so before taking action that turn. Okay, I guess we have to go through the tutorial, swap over to Absurus. Deals weak ice damage to one foe. Low, low chance of inflicting freeze. Okay. Your persona just now. It looks like you really do have a special power. Let's go ahead. Get ready for an all-out attack. Huh. Okay. I feel like the 3D model for Absurus is a bit like looks a bit cooler in this game. It looks like you have like a uh, kind of invisible or like translucent arm in addition to the how it normally looks. And for this shuffle time, yeah, let's go ahead and take extra XP. I mean, that's the thing that's definitely gonna we're gonna get the most value out of in the long run. More XP has been acquired. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that...? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. Alright. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop. There's a device nearby that will teleport you back. Look around for it. There should also be some stairs nearby, but I can't approve any more exploration right now. We'll explore the upper, fo upper floors next time. Occasionally, you will encounter one-way teleporters in Tartarus that can be used to return to the entrance. Keep in mind that since these teleporters are only one way, you cannot return to the same floor where it was used. Okay, are we gonna have to like start from the first floor every time? Okay, I thought there's a hallway we missed, but nope. Hey, I found some stairs. Wait, we're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Exactly what Takiba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. I mean, this is our first time, so we shouldn't be too reckless, but I am curious if it'll let us go to the next Wait, floor. Wait, we're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Okay, I guess it won't let us. Okay, maybe it's down this way. Treasure chest looks different from the one before. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. Does it the require box a key? can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. Like a key? The twilight fragment I found in my room seems to be reactive. What's that you got there? I wonder. That reaction. Do you have a twilight fragment with you? Try holding it up to the treasure chest. Special locked treasure chests can be unlocked with twilight fragments. The amount you need will vary from chest to chest, so you want to collect as many as you can. The number of twilight fragments I have is one. Using one should open it. Okay, I guess twilight fragments are consumable, and it might cost them multiple. Well. So we got two snuff soul. Not bad. Ah, I thought that's what that was. That's such a... That's a Twilight Fragment. They can be used on devices throughout Tartarus. You might find more in Tartarus or other locations with traces of shadows. If you come across any going forward, you'll want to take them. Alright, I'm pretty sure Snuff Soul helps like restore a little bit of SP. So, you know, good to have. I mean, we, now that we have Dia, we can basically convert SP into HP, so definitely will be useful. Looks like you found a teleporter. Now use it to return to the entrance. Should I return to the entrance? I don't know if I trust this machine, but I guess let's go ahead and try heading back. Hmm. Welcome back. So, how was it? I mean, it was pretty easy. Let's go ahead and say no problem. I see. 
Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Do we ever get attacked during that? Wow! I never knew I had that kind of power! But damn! Why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. You say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. What's hmm. going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't okay. Worry. I was You'll thinking that was specific to, to Tartarus. I have to say, though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. By combining my powers with the teams, I was able to stand against the shadows. I sense a strong bond with them. Another social link already? Okay, level two. Just like Yukari and Junpei, I feel tired as well. I decided that it would be best to return to my room and rest. I feel like he's trying to t get ahead of them before they're all like, Hey, you should rest. You know, you look tired. You should probably go to bed. Let's see what this hmm. what's up with this motorcycle. That's where I keep my navigation equipment. Sorry, but do you mind not touching that? Alright. From now on, you'll be selecting party members to join you in exploring Tartarus. I'll explain in detail some other time. Trust BN, you did well today. Now let's head back to the dorm. Hmm. You guys did a great job, but you won't have to shoulder the burden forever. I'll help you out too, just as soon as this dang injury is healed. Mm -hmm. Dude, I can't take it anymore. I'm starving. Hopefully while deck <sighs> burger is still open. I'm exhausted. Let's call it a day, okay? Let's just check this machine one last time. What a large clock. It doesn't seem to be working though. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and save and then we'll head out. Not bad. Excellent work. I have high hopes for our future expeditions. The dark hour will be ending soon. After returning from Tartarus, the Dark Hour will end. This will start the next day. Use this time wisely to recuperate for your next expedition. The structure of Tartarus will have changed by your next exp expedition. Treasure chests you have already found can be rediscovered as well, so returning could be a good idea if you find yourself stuck. Salut. Let's finish up here. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, let's call it quits. Alright, rest up and come prepared for our next expedition. I forgot I maybe could have checked the Velvet Room, Velvet Room and done our first fusion, but, you know, nothing too urgent. Yo. Hey, you're in 2F, right? What's with that wary look in your eye? I'm Kenji Tomoko Tomochika. We're in the same class. <laughs> okay, I mean, we're not gonna be so confrontational. Let's go ahead and say good morning. Yo. Yeah, you too. I heard from Iori that you're pretty close with Takuma. Is that true? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. Oh crap, it's almost time for the morning assembly. Come on, we better hurry. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank All you. the other classes just seem so flat by comparison. So she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Carijo group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like I feel to like she's asking a lot deep day one into of being well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang. 
What a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? Uh, let's say sort of. Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. Alright, today we'll be looking at some Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm sick of this story. I already went over it in the last class. Well, I mean, you're not teaching just one class. I've got a great poem we can discuss instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen to this. Isolated clouds suspended over the tall snowy mountain peak. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Okay, let's... You know, stay awake for this one. OBS crashed. Looks like we didn't lose the recording, fortunately, and didn't, like, you know, have to restart the game. So let's go ahead and carry on. Hey, Kenji, you better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself, napping while I pour my heart into this reading. Getting another essay on top of the regular assignment tonight. I expect to slice a cake when you turn it in, too. And don't cheap out with the story about stuff like last time. Okay, really took a turn here. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Yeah, probably the best idea. Okay, increased academics. I feel like I'd want to max out academics before focusing on yeah. courage. Want to stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? Might want to stock up while we can, since we got stuff going on at night. And there's a pharmacy there too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. Say you seem really into this. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task: escape from the school. Sonata-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. Huh. Well, that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come I on. Mean, I don't they're feel like that's too unexpected. More than a harem monument. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah! We love to join your little, uh, group here. Okay, I think the fate of the world is a little bit more important than shopping. I mean, only by a little bit, still. Ah, don't be lame. Even heroes need some rest now and then, you know? Well, are you free or not? Yeah, of course. No problemo. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? The, the police station? You mean, we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? These girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit-chat gives me a headache. Oh, anyway, be cold. I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Uh, anyway, let's go. Sonata asked us to meet him at the Polonia Mall police station. Junpei and I decide to head over. Yeah. Well, I was just headed there myself. You know the place, right? Let's go. Let's talk with her real fast. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Haga Cure. Okay. Well, I think now seems like a pretty good time to call it. Glad we got to explore Tartars before we wrapped up the episode. So let's go ahead and save real fast. And then... Yeah, I mean, I already gave my first impressions, but the combat, I'm definitely... Now that we've got a little more of a taste for it, definitely enjoying it. And like I said, it does seem very similar to Persona for Golden, which, I mean, 
if it's don't if it's not broken why fix it and definitely enjoy the combat in that so definitely looking forward to playing more of the combat in this game and seeing more of the style the personas the different abilities we can use but really enjoying it so far and definitely looking forward to playing more of it that's gonna wrap it up for this episode if you'd like to watch me play Persona for Golden in real time one, at a t one day at a time, make sure you check out that series on the channel. And if you want to see anything else I make, make sure you subscribe. By the way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.